In this video, I'm going to showing you guys how to complete every single challenge for the Invincible Dwell and B card, showing you guys how to complete all these challenges as fast as possible, and showing you guys how to complete them as easy as possible as well. I will leave timestamps in the description down below to when I talk about each challenge, but the first one right here is going to be called Blowout, and it is going to be for the Galaxy Opal Russell Westbrook. This one is pretty simple, we're not going to really talk about it, because all you guys have to do is use whatever team you want, and you have to win the game by at least 20 points, and the squad you play is pretty much just like the basic, the basic Phoenix Suns team. So, going to be a super easy challenge there, if you guys have any problems, then this might not be the video for you, because a lot of these challenges do get difficult. Number two challenge, this one we're definitely going to talk about, because this one is very, very confusing make 15 shots with from the post as a team for this one you don't actually have to win the game all you have to do is make 15 shots from the post as a team and then the challenge will end so some tips for your lineup you want to use a tall power forward and use a tall center for example i would use like cream at the four and then run yao ming at the five so now i'll top in the game and show you guys how to make these 15 post shots okay guys so now i'm going to show you why like this challenge is actually very confusing right 15 post shots that's all you guys got to do so i'm gonna go in the post with yao ming and i'm gonna do a drop step right i do a little drop step and i get my layup to go you would think that'd be a post move right you think oh that's one out of 15. look in the top right it's not gonna pop up it will pop up if it actually counted but you guys will see just keep looking at the top right of my screen right it didn't pop up so i didn't get it done you guys will see when i actually do the post spin it's gonna work so what you have to do is you can't do drop steps you have to do post spins which is super annoying so i'm gonna try sh i'm gonna try to show you guys right here what a post spin looks like right so you got to do the post spin you got to spin off and then you go for the layup now look in the top right of the screen if you keep looking at the top right it will eventually say one out of 15. just keep looking in the top right i don't know why this happens but if you look and now it says one out of 15 post moves completed or post moves earned. Once again, cannot do a drop step. So you have to post spin and then go to the basket and then get your layup. To do the post spin, you want to take your right stick and you want to go counterclockwise and just spin it like that. Once again, the setup of the player, you know, the setup of getting the post up is really easy. Call for a post up, pass it to LeBron, throw it to Yao Ming. Now, sometimes they do double team, which is really annoying, but you got Yao Ming. So you can kind of just fight through the double team. And then since I did the post spin, that is still going to count as a post move even though for some reason it didn't look like it but yeah so guys that's going to be three out of 15 post moves all you guys got to do is get 15 of those and then that patrick ewing challenge will be completed and you do get that free galaxy opal patrick ewing card so that is the second challenge you have to do westbrook number one patrick ewing number two talking about the third challenge here is going to be for the dark matter steve nash once again is going to be a super super easy challenge all you guys have to do is win the game and your requirements are like your rules is you may only use original owner cards in your lineup so as long as you've pulled some decent cards in packs or you have a bunch of free cards because free cards do count or a tyrese halliburton whatever you guys want to do use your original owner cards and then all you guys got to do for the steve nash challenge is just win the game and you're not going to verse that good of a squad i'll show you guys right here like the team the team you verse really isn't that good right as you guys can see like yes there is invincible shack but then there's like gold cards and a dark matter kobe so this challenge should be fairly easy next one is going to be score 100 points with a player this one is fairly easy you do have to get very lucky though because what can happen is your player gets injured after you score like 70 or 80 points which can be super annoying so for this one what you guys want to do for your lineup is just pick one card that you guys can score the best with now that's going to be different for a lot of people for me personally i use luka Doncic to complete this challenge there's no real method to do so it's on pro difficulty literally just use your best card you're versing all sapphire not sapphires you're versing all like amethyst and diamond cards and then just shoot in their face so if you have a good player like luka Doncic, richard jefferson it is definitely going to help you but this challenge should be straightforward Next one here is going to be a very difficult one. It is going to be win the game without letting the other team make a three-pointer. Might not sound that hard, but trust me, the CPU just puts up the craziest threes and makes the craziest threes. And so I'll top into the game and tell you guys my tips and tricks on how to complete this one. For the challenge where you can't let them shoot any three-pointers, you can't let them make any three-pointers, what you guys want to do in the offensive end is you just want to try to score as many points as possible, right? So use your best cards. You make sure you have a guy like Luka make sure you have a guy that can score the ball and then on the defensive end like literally it says in the challenge just do not let them shoot a three man you can't let them make a three but just do not let them even attempt a three so i can say you know what draymond go to the basket you know what i mean 
take your two pointer. We are we are okay with that. It's Clay Thompson. You just never know if they're gonna make a three. So we're just not letting them shoot. Even if it's Iguodala, even if it's Harrison Barnes, just do not let them get a three. That is perfectly fine. Basically, the method you guys want to do at the end of the quarters is you just want to foul. So once there's two minutes left in a quarter, you just want to hold down the square button or hold down the X button on Xbox, and you just want to foul. So now we're gonna foul and we're gonna send Steph Curry to the free throw line. Like I said, I'm gonna I know I keep repeating myself, but you want to do this under two minutes. So before you get to two minutes, you just do not want to let them put up a three. Play as good as defense as possible. Just keep focusing and scoring threes on the offensive end. It's really not that hard to do if you guys pay attention. So that one is going to be pretty easy to complete. The tips and tricks is basically to score as many threes as possible on the offensive end. And then on the defensive end, under two minutes left in the quarter, you guys just want to foul. Next one here is going to be win the game using only point guards and record at least one block. Now you might think, oh, that's not that bad until you realize the players you play against are Yao Ming, George Mirson, and Manu Bull, all players over seven foot six tall, and it's going to be super hard to get a block. You just want to use as tall point guards as possible. For example, a guy like Cade Cunningham, if we go over to the power thin, if you guys want to use Cade, he's a point guard primary. He's six foot eight tall. He's definitely going to help you guys get some blocks. You just want to go in the auction house, right? Try to find these guys that are super tall. Like I know this guy, he's super tall, right? He's going to be kind of expensive though. But if you guys are struggling with the challenge, just pick him up for 19K, 15K, and then just sell him right back because he's going to be a point guard primary and he's seven foot three tall. So he's going to pretty much guarantee you the success of completing the challenge. But if you guys don't want to use a bonus, there's some other pretty good options as well. Like Tony Kukoc, he's six foot ten tall. Get on Tony Kukoc. You want to a switch by holding down the button A, and you want to let Yao Ming run to the basket. Right, try to stay beside him, and then go for the block. And it's still Yao Ming, so he's gonna get the layup to go. I completed this on my first try with Luka Doncic. Like he's the one that got my block. It was actually kind of funny. Like Luka literally blocked Yao Ming. You'll get those fluke animations. It's really not that hard. You just gotta keep doing the same method over and over again, and eventually you will get lucky. So Tony Ku coach. We can't get the block. Can we grab the rebound? And the and that's going to go in the basket. I don't want to take up too much time just talking about one specific challenge, but I think you guys get the point. And there we go. Just like I, I was just saying, like I was going to, you know, pretty much quit out and like, you know, but you guys can see, right? That's all you guys got to do. It took us one game, right? We got the one block and then now all we got to do is win the game. Just shoot threes with uh, Luka Doncic and that game will be complete. Next one here is going to be for the Dark Matter Allen Iverson. What you have to do is win the game without recording an assist. Honestly, I don't think I really have to give any tips for that one. You just got to pay attention. Don't be like distracted, you know, watching something. Just pretty much lock in for one game and just don't throw the ball. Like just literally go around a screen, shoot, go around a screen, shoot. It should be pretty easy. Just hold the ball on offense. You're not getting an assist. This one is should be very simple. Next one, though, is going to be win the game without turning over the ball. Once again, like these ones are kind of like I can't really give that many tips and tricks. Like just don't turn over the ball, right? So if you ever feel like you're going to turn the ball over, call timeout, right? If you're if you feel like you're going to get pinched, call timeout, right? Try not to throw bad passes. Try not to like, you know, look away while you're playing the game. Like just make sure you're paying attention to the screen. And for turnovers, I mean, just don't turn over the ball. It's going to take you a couple times because you'll probably get like a shot clock violation. You'll probably accidentally step out of bounds. It's just going to happen. So for these ones, these two ones, I can't really give you guys any suggestions of what to do. You guys just got to pay attention and just be very careful, especially for the turnover one. Next challenge here is going to be win the game while attempting only seven shots as a team. And it is going to be in triple threat offline. So basically, you have to go seven for seven from the three point line, which does sound pretty difficult. And it's as a team. So it doesn't have to be with one player. So as a team, you should have to make seven shots in a row. So obviously, you want to use your best guys that you can score with. Luka Doncic, obviously going to be really good. The second guy I would use for my squad, probably like Bob Netalecki, super fast jump shot if he's wide open or if he's kind of covered, he's definitely going to green or at least get a shot off. And then for my last guy, I would use a guy like Dwayne Wade, right? Dwayne Wade, he can create his own shot and he can obviously be a very good three hunter. The same theme for a lot of these challenges, guys, is just going to be very, be very careful and just like understand what the challenge is. For example, don't just walk up the court and shoot a bad shot. If you don't have a wide open shot, just literally don't shoot the ball. So I'm going to come around a screen. I have a wide open shot. I'm going to shoot it. Luka Doncic, green light. But if you get trapped, if you get double teamed, if there's only two seconds left on the clock, don't just throw up a bad shot. Just take the shot clock violation. But yeah, guys, I mean, the, 
the biggest tip for this one is just don't take any bad shots as long as you're just paying attention to what you're doing just, it's basically like just playing a triple threat offline game against some you know cpu that's really not the best i think it's on pro difficulty you can let them score if you really want to obviously you have to win the game but you just want to mainly focus on making those seven threes in a row without missing a single shot so come around the screen we're wide open with luka Doncic, and obviously as long as you wipe the shot with luka or a guy that can shoot you're most likely not going to miss we don't have a bad shot see it i i got boxed i'm just not going to shoot the ball right i didn't take a bad shot nothing was open there and that's what you guys got to do so this challenge i think is pretty self-explanatory Next one here is going to be Donovan Mitchell. It is going to be win the game without committing a foul. Kind of like the Steve Nash, or not, not Steve Nash, kind of like the Allen Iverson and the Chris Paul. Once again, can't really give you guys any tip for this one. You basically just got to be very careful and just control your CPU and don't let them foul by accident. Obviously, if you're controlling somebody, don't click A, or sorry, don't click X to seal the ball. Don't click square on PS to seal the ball and don't click the Y button. You shouldn't really be clicking X um x on xbox and um square on ps or you shouldn't be clicking triangle or y on xbox and ps just don't jump and don't reach next one here is going to be win the game and make make at least 11 dunks as a team for this one you want to pick three rim runners you don't want to pick big man because the thing with big man is sometimes they'll go for a layup not a dunk so you want to pick like three guys that are super good at getting to the basket Dwayne Wade is the guy I did the challenge with. I think he's probably the best, but another good guy to do is like Steve Francis. We all know Steve Francis, super ath athletic, and he's got a really good dribble style, so we know he can get to the basket with ease. So the second guy I would use here is gonna be Steve Francis, and then the next guy I would use is Russell Westbrook. Literally use three point guards, and it should be very easy because those guys can all get to the basket and they can all get very easy dunks. So guys, on the offensive end, I don't know if you guys know how to do a push cross, but basically, this is what a push cross looks like. You do this, and it's called a push cross, and you get to the basket. That is super easy of how to score these, or how to get these 11 dunks. But yeah, I mean, you can use whatever player you want. Like Russell Westbrook, he's got the push cross as well. You just want to make sure that the card has, you want to make sure the card has quick dribble style, right? Get to the basket. Like I said, that's why you want to use Russell Westbrook. You want to use Steve Francis, and you want to use Dwayne Wade. If you don't know how to do the push cross, or maybe you don't want to learn how to do it, then the best thing is going to be probably the size up, right? So if you do like the snatch back into the size up, that's probably going to be the best thing as well. Do this, go around the defender and then get to the basket now that one's super easy to do it's not as effective as the push cross but basically to do the snatch back all you guys want to do is flick up on the right stick and down on the left stick without holding the turbo button and it's going to be very easy to do i'll explain on this next possession here how to do the uh, snatch back and then you just want to run around the defender so like i said get in a little isolation at the top of the key up on the right stick down on the left stick and then run to the basket so do that round him try to go to the basket and then westbrook's gonna go all the way i'm gonna get blocked but like i said that's why like i think the push cross is a lot more effective now the challenge you guys probably clicked on the video for and that is going to be how to complete the galaxy open a new bowl challenge the first thing I want to say is honestly, guys, this one is not that difficult. What you want to do is you can only use uh, players up to Sapphire, but you can still use gold cards. You can still use emeralds. And then obviously you can use Sapphires and all you guys have to do is win the game. The hard thing about this though, is look at the team you go up against. You go up against all the hero cards in my team. I do still have some of the players from the squad I used. So these are all the players I used in the challenge. You want to use these zero gravity cards. They're going to come in handy like crazy. So for example, the one guy I didn't use, I forgot about is this Jay Williams card. Make sure to use him as your starting point guard. And then off the bench, you can go with a guy like Ty Lu. If you guys want to buy some cards for this challenge, you want to buy Sapphire Jonathan Isaac for the four. And then you want to buy Sapphire Simbular for the five. But honestly i don't think you really need those cards for the for the emerald what you guys want to do what player you guys want to use is going to be that alfred sangoon he is going to be really good and he should be your starting center and then you can have Giannis at the starting four as well and this is just for the team right and then i could probably go patrick williams at the backup four and then for the backup two, the guy i would use is going to be emerald lonzo ball he's going to give you really good defense and he can get to the basket with ease as well so you just look at the squad these are literally all just zero gravity cards i haven't used a single auctionable player and you can easily complete the challenge with these cards so just do something like this right this is an all zero gravity team and this is going to be one of the best squads you can use but if you want to buy some players jonathan isaac ben simmons 
Simbular are all very good options, but this team can easily get the job done as well. When you guys get into the challenge for Manu Bowl, what you guys want to do is you want to pause the screen and you want to come to your defensive settings. And I'll just quickly explain my defensive settings, but I'll also leave a link in my description to my defensive settings video. I'm going to go through them pretty fast. On ball pressure is smother. Off ball pressure is tight. On ball screen is go over. On ball screen centers also go over. For the hedges, I like to play soft hedge and then stay attached on yes. Scroll down to the bottom, drive help rules, no help, screen help rules, no help, and then scroll down to the bottom, transition defense to no threes, and then you want to cl click on your freelance. This is really important. You want to make sure you have the Twawks, the Twawks? You want to make sure you have the Hawks 2018 freelance, and you want to scroll down to the bottom, and you want to make sure you have adaptive coaching engine on off. That is probably one of the most important things you can do for defensive settings. It might say like offense and defense. You want to click one thing to the right, and then you want that to be on off. And then that is going to be it. Actually, you can do your help defensive sliders. That does help as well. Put them down to zero. And then for this, you know, your, you know, make sure you have your meter off, make sure your vibrations off, and then make sure you do have real player percentage for your free throw timing. For your free throw timing, make sure you have this on real player percentage. And those are going to be the settings you need to do before you hop into the game. What you guys want to do if you're on Xbox Next Gen is you want to come to your settings and you want to scroll down to where it says action replays and you want to turn this on too often. Like I said, guys, this only works if you're on Xbox Next Gen. I'll explain some other methods like in a bit after for like other consoles. But if you guys play on Xbox Next Gen, this is what you guys want to do. Turn your action replays on too often. OK, guys, so when this screen pops up, home button, B, home button, right? So that's what you guys have to do when you see that purple screen. Screen. it can be either when you score a layup or a dunk or when they score a layup or dunk home button b home button and then this screen will pop up and as you guys can see the clock is running down once it gets down to one minute then you have to go back into the game and you have to play the rest of the quarters but this is going to help because that means all this time is just we're just sitting here there's not going to be a five second violation for the inbound we're just sitting here with three minutes it's just going to count all the way down to one minute if you guys don't play on xbox next gen you guys want to set up a freelance you guys want to set up your freelance so click right on the d-pad scroll down to freelance and you want to activate your hawks 2018 and then you want to click uh, left on the d-pad and you want to click pass and screen away now you have like an iso situation and you want to try to get to the basket or call pick and rolls out of this five out as you guys can see we're kind of in a five animation and the corners are going to drop probably should have like a shooter instead of Giannis if you want to do that method so you want to call pass and screen away at the top of the key you're going to get like a little 5-0 animation you want to drive to the basket corner is going to drop and then we're going to be wide open for the three-pointer corners drop a lot in this challenge so as you guys see I called the five out right five out at the top of the key with my Jay Williams get him at the top of the key you have Curry on you so you should be able to get to the basket pretty much easily like I said you shouldn't really have Giannis on the court if you want to do this pass and screen away so I just try to get to the basket but if you guys play on any other console you guys want to drive and then you want to kick to the corner right we're going to be wide open again you want to try to green your shots but then there we go right now we're down by two points and we've hit two threes in a row so that is going to be your main source of offense quickly talking about defense i mean like it's going to be hard like i said i like to use her onto Giannis and just play off ball decent uh, off, off ball defense because i feel like Giannis is probably the best like off ball defender in the game you don't want to try to play on ball like trying to guard like steph curry or all these guys at the top of the key you want to use like your center or power forward to play off ball defense and just help if you see someone going to the basket. So we're going to play good defense here. He's going to go all the way. And that's great defense from Giannis. So I'll just show you guys a couple possessions of what I would do in the game. Right, keep calling my pass and screen away. Look to get to the basket by Dwayne Wade. He's going to drop his corner. Once again, probably want to have some better shooters on the court. But hey, that didn't work. Let's get the ball back into Jay Williams' hands. Let's call a little pick and screen here. Going to stop pop Jay Williams from way downtown. And he's going to knock down that three. And I'm not really even trying on defense for the first couple possessions. And we now have a one point lead right recall your passing screen away don't have to rush anything look to get to the basket we're gonna go all the way we're gonna see Devin Booker in the corner and he's gonna knock down another three so I think you guys get the point of the video now we're just gonna back out and talk about the other two challenges one last thing about this Manu Bull challenge guys like I said you want to have that good team with these zero gravity cards right that is going to be the main thing is making sure you have these zero gravity cards they're going to help out a lot as you guys can see my whole team is zero gravity 
and then in game you want to do the pass and screen away at the top of the key with the hawks 2018 freelance and then on defense you just want to use your honest user your center and you just want to play as good as off ball defense as possible and then guys the last two things to get uh to get the joel and bead it's basically just going to be 15 games of domination all these games are the exact same all you have to do is just win the game and prevent the other team from scoring more than 60 points they're going to be super easy look at the squad you play against and you can use pretty much any cards you want you do have to use 10 players from that specific team but then that means you can use three players you actually want so use your three best players for these challenges and they're going to be super easy so these are basically just going to be super boring and like domination but the hard challenges we went over every single one so if you guys made it this far into the video i really hope you guys did enjoy make sure to drop a like down below so this video took a while to edit and a while to record so hopefully you guys did enjoy hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace